Peter, could you discuss some of the myths surrounding networking? Uh, sure. I mean, I do think that there's a general perception, as uh, we all know, about what networking is. Networking is seen as kind of this style over substance, this idea that it's not what you do, it's who you know. And there's a notion that if you can just use your charm, if you can use your charisma, if you can use your connections, you can get ahead, whether you deserve it or not. And I don't think that's in a completely inaccurate notion of what some forms of networking are. <laughs> Especially, we do live in a society that has a lot of inequality, both you know, socially and economically. And this can be a way in which people use networking either to reinforce some of this inequality or as ways in which to sometimes advance themselves past it. But it's not the entire story of what I think modern networking is. And why I say that is that it's networking is something that can go beyond just making personal connections or reinforcing those personal connections or moving ahead through those personal connections. Networking can also be something in which we discover more about ourselves and the organizations in the context in which we work for. Mm -hmm. So one of the myths that I would like to, if I can, uh, debunk, if we will, about networking is this idea that Networking doesn't have a substantive role. It doesn't have an interesting role that can play in really improving organizations. Mm. So one of the key elements to think about this is the recognition that we live in a network society. We live in societies where organizations are not so easily discrete units. They're not these unified things that everyone is doing the same element and everyone works in the same building and everyone has the same social goal. I mean, now we have global corporations, for instance, that have a variety of networked parts. We can talk about this in terms of technology, right? We have digital networks mm -hmm. and we're connected through our digital networks, right? So we live in a more networked society. And networking can be a very strong way in which we can learn more about these networks, how these networks operate, and how they can be improved. And that's why I think improving our network skills and improving what network is meant for can actually not only help debunk some myths about networking, but actually improve how networking is done.